you know, black folks, and basically the clock down here to the right, busy doing some work, hit the earthquake, 7.3, popped over to Dutch. He said there was a word about, but tsunami warning not, okay? What we can see from USGS so far, okay? So the number one thing to look at when we're looking at this is it's still all in a line. It's all still pretty much the ring of fire is all the suns, all the suns. So keep watching. If anybody comes to this, see the I'll put 7.3 earthquake. I think it's Indonesia or whatever. Uh, I got the tsunami basically check on showing you what's up there. Uh, as we roll, we're opposite direction of the way, the way Earth rolls, folks. It rolls the other direction. But we'll pick up and show you the straight lines of, see that there? We're also getting action going up. Okay, and then we know all the volcanoes and stuff that are in Ohio, Idaho. Yes, and also there was a 4.0 a long time ago earlier, but Idaho, Montana, uh, Colorado, Wyoming, Washington, okay, but what right there, St. Helens hasn't been doing much of late that we know of. Uh, there could be another caldera around there close by. Now we're going the right direction, the way uh, Earth rotates to the sun, and basically our axis turn is probably something like about that, okay? And we have moved 40 feet a year to the east, okay? The axis has on the north, okay? So you tilt that over like this a little bit, a little bit east, but it still looks about like this. Okay, if you went, if you were to go with it a little bit east, I guess I'm not even going to try to screw that up. Uh, but they have moved runways and so forth and so on. So we have a massive, and I'll play the bar here and show. You see that straight line action, folks, and that straight line action there. Now there is a uh, famous cross. Uh, Denaire, I think. I might be wrong on that. I had it off the map, off Fireball. And on the night sky and stuff, I'll go to night sky pictures and so forth. So you got to think of the cross action that we get in the straight line actions of where that constellation is at. Okay. Uh, I might be misquoting by saying seven sisters and so forth and so on. But there's way more than one sun in the supergiants. And this star cluster that looks like a cross constellation up there gets the majority of this action. And you get that straight line there, that straight line there. No matter what, the super giants are there and watch all my videos if you're new to the channel. And uh, the sun is in the super giants. The earth always follows the sun. Uh, and the sun is getting its ass kicked in the super giants main sequence. And there's lots of objects. And I'll even put on this video here since there's probably some new people coming in here seeing this giant 7.3 earthquake. There's another thing to think about that this could have been an 8.3 by the big pattern that it has. Because like anybody who's been watching these earthquakes all year long, that 4.3 four ring is quite small. More than likely a 4.4 would be something up above the, the numbers on that 4.4. We know that they took ticks off. They always take ticks off, okay? 2.6 would be like a 2.3, 2.1 or something like that. Now they're starting to look to take on the graphs showing the, pat, the footprint small. Because 7.3, that's large. And you go back and also I'll hit uh, now on USGS and we'll get that to load. Uh, just go always give a nice heads up for Dutch's channel, okay? And I'm going back to the globe here. I'm not trying not to, so I don't want to just pop this up right away. So this is more than likely the tilt, folks, because whenever I, I do my checks, they always show you how the tilt is. So whenever I, I show you an astrology map, a uh, constellation map, when it shows it, the Earth sitting here like this, that's pretty much the tilt. Uh, they know the polarity is changing. They're trying to chase it down, but it's moving so much. Okay, we know that it on average is 40 feet a year, but it's been doing a lot more lately. Let me show you some temperature graphs also. Now that's a 7.3 quake, folks. Okay, there's other things I could show you. And the number one thing is, I guess, if I hit up a lot of the markers on here, anybody that's new here, we'll hit solar. Okay, and I'll take the Earth globe off, and you'll see, folks, they know the super giants cause earthquakes. You see that? You see how that matches up? Now I can take it down or go way ahead too. You see that? All the solar activity in the supergiants causes earthquakes, ladies and gentlemen. It also causes those volcanoes. You watch all my videos, and we've been taking pictures of the terahydrons, tetrahydrons around Earth. And there you go, folks. Now, more than likely, one of the supergiant suns caused that, okay? It also could be the sun getting its ass kicked in the supergiants. The sun causes these quakes. Okay, and the sun's in the supergiants. There are 
100 suns in the Super Giants main sequence, 4 to 78 times the size of the sun. And the meatball that we've already so watched all my videos, the last half dozen will show you a lot of technicalities of what's going on in our solar systems, maybe, solar system and universes with an S, yes, melding together. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, things are going on, okay, and the hush is on and the hush up, okay, so the this is the current, and you can see by the temperatures of Earth for January, folks, 63 to Hong Kong, okay, 49 in Tokyo, because Tokyo is north, norther, and basically all special ops usually go to Mount Fuji, I think it is, or Yokohama. Uh, there's there's a mountain over there because my dad did special ops training over there, okay? And he was in the Korean conflict. So they want cold weather. If they don't do the training in Montana, they do it over there in Tokyo, ladies and gentlemen. Or if they don't do it in Canada, okay? 64 degrees in Los Angeles, no big deal. But 49 degrees in New York today, 28 in Anchorage. That is a flip and put the suntan lotion on, ladies and gentlemen, okay? The sun and the super giants. It's in the super giants. Where will it go? Because Earth will follow, no matter what. Okay? And then we'll go up and we'll look at the, you'll see the, this is your international weather temperature. And you always want to match that up with looking at your sea temperature. And you can see the way that the flow is going because the, the sea warms up. And basically, anybody that's from the East Coast knows you can go in the water. And if you've ever been out to the Pacific, and when the California is like, God damn, the water's cold. Yes, it's a lot cooler out there. But as you see, we are warming up. And there's all your graph and, and your deal for that. And I kind of apologize. I could have blew that up a little bit. So there you go. Seeing it more. Okay. So, the, yes, the water and the water around Hawaii is always warm. Okay. And the East Coast is always warm. That's why people will float a little bit more over there because the idea that you got salt water, folks. Okay. So, we go ahead and go back to looking at that. That's water. This is your air temperatures and I just showed you a minute ago of looking at the temperatures from around the world and we have record highs going on all over the place. Yes, we go in cycles and so forth, but forget cycles because we know the sun is in the supergiants. Watch all my videos, ladies and gentlemen, because we had a 7.3 quake and that's nothing because now I should be able to pop over and go to the graphs and you will see a 6.6 .6 earlier. Now we cooled off for a long time, but we got a major size object coming by. Uh, Anyway, go to RSOE emergency, and it'll show you all the kinds of stuff that goes on around the world. Let me go ahead and see if I can hook that in here real fast and show you this huge, large object that's going to be coming by, and it's very, very fast. Hella fast that we've had all these objects have been coming by. Okay, and folks, I'm a very busy man. I have no time for links. Every once in a while, when it's really important, I'll put a link in. Okay, so there was the quake that we had. Okay, and you can go to this map, and it'll show you everything that's going on from hazmat. And then uh, also in the last, you watch my last couple of videos, I even show you if someone's been kidnapping a kid lately or something like that, okay? This thing will show you just about everything. And I don't get any money from these folks. I just love data, folks, and I share truth and data with everybody. Now, there's always could be a false report on here or something like that, okay? But see, now we had a 7.5 and a 7.3, and let me blow this screen up just a little bit to be able to, okay, because I want to be able to show you that data coming down in a little bit. But... As you can see, that, that was probably, no matter what, could be a shimmer shake of the Earth shaking at 2.3, okay? When you get a 7.5 and a 7.3 like that, a huge print footprint. But now when I, I still have USGS up, and I'll go to that. Now I'm going to back this back out to the normal, 100%, so you've seen that. And they, basically, you can keep track of everything on here, folks. Earthquakes, volcanoes, we love, I, we, everybody loves this channel, okay? And yes, there's a bunch of volcanoes that are in red and a shitload that are in seven. And I think there was somebody that even stated and went looking around that there's 93 flipping volcanoes in the world that are showing activity. That means from a little bit of steam to being like Old Faithful or something like that to being calderas, which basically Old Faithful folks in Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Washington, Colorado, there is a ton of... She's getting hot, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Every damn volcano in the world is. Now i.e. ash cools earth folks okay let me go back to that temperature plot here and I'm not sure if this is the one I had it on but I had it and it had a NASA projection and here we go folks when there has been huge volcanoes in the past it's cooled the temperature off because of the Sun so we have like what Jupiter has if you watch my videos been it has a moon that has volcanoes okay it's blowing like crazy right now on Venus okay excuse me on that Venus 
and you can even see some shots recently of Venus. Let me go to that real fast and show you that. So the idea that earthquake ash cools the Earth but keeps it shaded from the sun and the supergiants, folks. So watch this. Check this out. Click, click quickly. Global warming, no, folks. Supergiants, a lot of suns, okay? So these earthquakes and volcanoes are going to keep on going on because these volcanoes are going to cool the Earth, okay? Yes, the water temperatures and everything are up, and the supergiants, and the sun is in the supergiants, and we are going to warm up, and the earthquakes and the volcanoes, the volcanoes are going to spew like crazy because they're going to cool it off. So we are going to get real nasty ash, okay? And the chemtrailing might be keeping the volcanoes a little bit calm. To my regulars, the action that we know of, okay? Yes, these huge planets out there, okay, getting down, because that's not just Jupiter that you're seeing around here. I don't have time to dissect, because people are going to be looking at this earthquake, okay, and those things in the frame, those are asteroids, but they were like 100 IU out, okay. That is the meatball. That is Pleiades M45, ladies and gentlemen, okay, no matter what, okay, follow the moon, okay. These are nighttime shots. All those are dark in the night shots, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me go ahead, and what I was trying to get at, uh, what was that? constellation spica okay I think might have been one I was mentioning before all right so we got other action here that we're seeing okay asteroid belt on earth and so we'll have more on that in a second hang on yes we love our government and data okay spy where's your fly okay now I've also wondered who because I'm looking for some pictures here so hang on a minute for people who have watched my videos and so forth, the super giants, folks, because that's not the sun. It's the sun and a lot of other suns, okay? And there is Venus squirting its ass off, and I think I will be able to, sh yep, go on ape shit. More than likely, maybe a volcano of the moons around Venus, and they don't like that shit. And it's true. Went, been there and studied and took these shots out, okay? So this is recent of that date, okay? So there is stuff going on in space, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So hang on a minute. And here, this is night sky, ladies and gentlemen. More of our asteroid belt that NASA had a deal back on a Thursday about four months ago or three months ago. And was giving us a bunch of shit that there's no asteroid belt close by us. Well, horse hockey. And that was an interesting shot the other night. And I think I'll have to pop back to you. That's what my channel's background looks like. And here we go through the asteroid action of the evening. And there's our terahydrons, tetrahydrons. I got some new shots of that. and. I should have been able to keep showing you some night sky stuff of where I went and got a hold of, and that's also some action that you're seeing, and that's star cluster action over in Hawaii, folks. That's not a window throwing the sun off, doing that, and we're getting that action, very bright, and we are getting terahydrons, tetrahydrons coming down and hitting these volcanoes, dark light, bright light. And yes, folks, this is the light energy that's getting transferred down to Earth. You see that? That's not a rainbow, folks. That is light energy from the supergiants, okay? And there are terahydrons, tetrahydrons out there that are hitting these volcanoes. These are all shots from USA volcano. And you see this? This has opened up more. If you've seen my last, my, my future, my past videos, that volcano is getting hotter. And it's getting hotter from these spikes right here, folks. It's like a magician throwing sulfur into a volcano, okay? Black light, transfusion from outer space, sun, solar system, supergiants, okay? Terahydrons, tetrahydrons. Waking these volcanoes up, folks. Kona in Hawaii. And then we're going to go to, basically, this is down in Antarctica from the British. And that is our one of our super giants. Basically, go to the video video just before, the la go to the last half dozen videos if you're new to this site, folks. you got to pay attention to all my information. So much that it puts moisture up and through on the camera down in Antarctica in the cold, folks. 2 a.m. in the morning, that's not the sun, okay? That is supergiant sun, not the sun, ladies and gentlemen, a baby star sun that's fallen out of the supergiants. And at nighttime, 3.40 a.m. in the morning, folks, the meatball is projected and so forth through a telescope, 3.40 a.m. in Hawaii, and you get these objects and you see the red planet, folks, okay, at nighttime, okay? It's out there in our sky, ladies and gentlemen, in asteroid belts, okay? 3.40 a.m., ladies and gentlemen, these shots were taken. And I zoomed in at a thousand on this. You should be able to get a good look at it there. Okay, and then it gets projected bigger in the sky. Okay, spies are everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Beware that there's traitors to America in the United States. Spies and flies, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. There's that baby planet, and there is the time of this shot right there. 
brief watch my last dozen videos.